Hello everybody, this is JR Chunks 21 So I wanted to d let you guys know, I have started a Twitch. It is the same name as the profile, as the YouTube account, JR Chunks 21 with a capital J. Uh, I will be using this, I will be using Twitch's platform to do all of the live streams. Behind me, I'll put the camera right here so you guys can see the actual webcam. And I'll do uh, live streaming for the duels when I get my actual gaming computer that I use for the GTA mods. I'll put the camera back here so you guys can see everything that's going on. Hopefully, I'll have a better webcam. I'm currently using the one that's built into the computer right now because I don't... I actually don't want to get up out of bed yet. Uh, it's like probably 7.30. Yeah, it's 7.30 where I am right now. So, as you can see, the camera on this is really crappy. It just click, stops. But it's like 7.30 right now, so... I wanted to let you guys know, we do have a Twitch, I will put it out here and on Twitter whenever I'm going to do a live stream, whether it's for the Pokemon videos, the Yu-Gi-Oh videos, the, uh, what is it, the GTA and Fallout 4 videos, Fallout 4 will probably be recorded the same way it has been, using the tripod setup. The Fallout, the Grand Theft Auto will be done the same way. I'm going to do it here, and I'll do a live stream. Because I think some of you guys may want to actually donate while I'm live streaming, and if that's the case, then that's fine. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I'm still learning everything I need to know about Twitch and everything. But I will let you guys know. When everything is operational, and I'll let you know when I'm actually doing the live streams. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to let you know that this was the plan, and that it is done. I have the Twitch. I'm just working on getting the operating software to do the live streams. So if you guys want to join me for a live stream, I'm probably going to be doing those maybe every Saturday around... 8 p.m. U.S. time, U.S. Eastern Standard Time, maybe. So if you guys want to hop on YGO Percy, YGO Pro Percy, or Dev Pro, that's perfectly fine. I will duel you on either of those. Uh, for Dev Pro, I do not have the card artwork loaded in. YGO Pro Percy had it pre-built into the download. So if you guys want that, let me know. Uh, as always, the name is going to remain the same as the channel name. It will be JR Chunks 21 with a capital J. And just so everybody knows, the reason it is JR Chunks 21 for the channel, my first name is John and my middle name is Ross. I'm named after two uh, soldiers my mom was very close friends with, so. Uh, that's where that comes from. Chunks is the nickname I got when I was at a uh, Police Explorer Academy my first year. I thought I would just be, the first day of the Academy, which lasted five days, I thought I would just be uh, getting settled into the room and learning the rules. So I went to Logan's Steakhouse uh, in town, in the town where I live, and ate a big old big old juicy steak and some cheese fries and went to the camp did my PT and ended up just throwing up all over the gym I think we did a total of a mile and a half run and then uh, close to a mile and running inside a 69 degree we went from a hundred degree temperature outside to 69 degree air conditioned gym, maybe 60 degree, I'm not sure. Uh, so we ran inside around a circuit in there. We did push ups, sit ups. Uh, you know, we did all of this stuff where 
it just put an extreme strain on me. And when I threw up, it, there were chunks of the steak in it because it hadn't been digested. And I know this is gross, but the reason I'm telling you this is because I always thought for the first two or three days when I was called that, because they would give you nicknames for stuff that happened, I thought I was being insulted by the other advisors. Well, then a personal, uh, one of the advisors for my post who pretty much trained me actually came up and said, no, that name is meant to be more insulting, but now that we've thought about it, you know, you knew you were going to get sick. You were dry heaving. You knew you were going to get sick. You knew you were going to all over the place. And you still continued pushing your body to your limits. And we respect that. So, I ended up getting a lot of respect for that from the advisors. Um, so that's where the chunks come from. And 21, I've always used that as the ending to my uh, names. It fits now because in about four months I will be... Well, actually, because it's only a couple of days until August. Uh, three months I will be turning 21. In which case, on November 6th, when I upload the night video, depending on if it's New Vegas or Fallout 4 or Fallout 3, depending, because Asylum will be here. Me and him are going out to uh, one of my advisors who owns a bar. We're going to go out to his bar and drink, so we make sure we don't get drugged or stabbed or anything like that, because it is a bar owned by a police officer. Um, I wanted to let you guys know... That if I upload a video, there's a very real chance I'm going to be drunk in it. So, if that's the case, I apologize for that. I don't intend to get shit-faced drunk, but this is the first time I have, will actually be drinking alcohol in my life. Being I've been an explorer since I was in high school, uh, since I was in 10th grade... I haven't actually gone to any high school parties. In fact, I skipped both of my proms in high school, so... You know, I'm not really a nerd the way I see it. I'm a mix of a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stereotypes. But I have never actually been to prom. I've never been to a high school party. So, because I couldn't risk getting caught around drugs or alcohol, or else it would ruin my future career choice. So I never drank, I never did drugs. Closest thing to drugs I did was when I got in a car accident right after my 20th birthday. They gave me some painkillers because I had... <laughs> it was a freaking miracle. Uh, the story behind that is, and I realized this was supposed to be just a Twitch video, but now I've gone into like a bunch of stories for you guys. But I, want, I figured, what the hell, I owe you guys a video. Uh... Not long after I turned 20, uh, we had two dogs. We had our little black skipper key, Skeeter, and Chloe, and I had to take them down on my way to school to the vet so they could get groomed. And I took them, I was going there, and the light was out. I just dropped my mom off at work out on the military base nearby, and uh, she, her being a nurse, she worked at Walmart. So those of you that know military, you know I'm talking about Fort Bragg. Uh, she, um, I had just dropped her off, and I was coming up the road, and the stoplight's out. It's blink, 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 blink. It's blinking red, or, yeah, it's blinking red. So, the way North Carolina works is, if the red, if you have a blinking red light at a stoplight, you are allowed to go through it if you're clear. So I start executing my left-hand turn to go to the vet, because I was running late for school already. And, uh, One Direction has stopped for me. The stuff coming from the right has stopped for me. The stuff coming from the left, I looked two or three different times before I even started making the left turn, and I'm like, okay, I'm clear. I start executing it, and I look out my left, my driver's side window when I'm about halfway through the turn, and I see this pickup truck coming full speed at me, and I'm in a red Honda Fit. I'm like, fuck. So... I just get smashed right in the driver's side. And I end up getting launched across four or five lanes of traffic, um, over a sidewalk, through a fence, through a bush, 
and almost over railroad tracks, if not over railroad tracks, that I landed in a hotel's front lawn. And I came out pretty... I mean, the way I see it, I came out pretty lucky. I came out with some bruises, and that's it. I no scrapes, no broken bones, nothing. Like, I literally got out of my car, and I was standing there, and I guess a military soldier came rushing up, and she's like, Lay the fuck down! I'm like, okay, take it easy, damn, no, just take it easy. I'm in the city, so I'm like, okay. Uh, so I lay down flat on the ground, and uh, the guy who hit me, of course, he came out on, not harmed at all. He got out of his truck, and I'm a little pissed. I think he stole one of my pocket knives. I used to carry two on me, but he comes rushing up. I'm a medic from Florida. He takes my knife, and he cuts my pants along the legs to make sure I'm not bleeding along my legs. And I never once got my knife back, and he never, you know, he never, I never saw him again. And, uh, he ended up calling me a couple times after I got out of the hospital saying, uh, check it on me. I don't know how the hell he got my number. He shouldn't have been able to get my number. There is laws pertaining to that, but, uh, he got my cell phone number and kept, he, he called me to make sure I was okay, which I thought was nice. Uh... But I'm in the hospital, and you know, I have one of my shirts on that has my, a little badge. Uh, you'll see me wear them occasionally, so I'm not going to go into detail. But he, uh, the medics realized that I was a police explorer, and they called my sergeant, who had just come back from a trip to, I think, Kansas? For a police activity league boxing match. So he hadn't gotten any sleep yet, I think that's... I think that's how it went, but, uh, he, I was coming back from x-ray, and I heard my dad talking in my, uh, hospital room, in the emergency room, and I'm like, who the fuck is he talking to, is he, is he on the phone to someone, and we come up, and we see the, I look in the window, and I see my sergeant, who's in charge of the program, and the female sergeant, who her squad called her, the, who her squad calls her the report writing bitch, because she writes, her, like, she's very strict about police reports, but, so I'm going through, so, I turn around to the nurse who's pushing my little bed, and I'm like, take me back to x-ray, get, get me out of here, <laughs> and they're like, well, yeah, this is how this works, every time, any, anytime any explorer gets in any trouble, and it goes over the radio, we're immediately notified, and I didn't realize how many people heard about this, I ended up here finding out that captains and lieutenants and assistant chiefs and chiefs and all these other people had heard about this at the police department because I'm an explorer. And I'm like, well, damn, now I can't get away with nothing. I get a speeding ticket and they fucking know I did it. But I wanted to let you guys know that I do have the Twitch. And I realize this is a little hilarious that I'm going from that story over to the Twitch cut. I figured I've wasted enough of your guys' time. I do plan to do a video tonight, get the video for Tim today and tomorrow and upload both of them. But I have stuff cluttering my room right now, so I really can't do a video as easily right now. But I have the Twitch, so if at any time, if on Saturdays you guys... I haven't decided, well, until I get the new gaming computer, uh, Saturdays are primarily going to be de uh, the just dueling matches. So, if you guys want to find me, it's JRChunks21, you can send a request, I'm, I'm not sure how it works, but I want to let you guys know the Twitch is active. You can follow me there. If during a live stream you decide, hey, I want to donate money, I love that. I would love if you guys actually, you know, donated some money, helped out the channel. Because all of the money you guys donate goes to the channel. But, have a good day, guys.